So, this is Sarava. He was owned by uh, Gary Drake, and he was the first classic winner that ever retired old friends. He, he won the Belmont Stakes and paid 142.50, and he remains the longest shot in the history of the 139 or 149, however many years it is of Belmont. Nobody's ever paid more than him. And he never won another race. That was it. He said, okay, that's fine. So every year at the Belmont, they talk about him. And he's the one who won the Belmont the year that War Emblem was going to the Triple Crown. So I tell people when they come here now, we have our own Triple Crown, because we have War Emblem and him, so that's all three races in 2002. And then we have we have Touch Gold and Silver Charm, and that's 1997. So we have, we have the Triple Crown from both those years. Just had to divide it up. Huh. Well, Kenny McPeak trained him. I think he still remains Kenny's sole classic winner. He's very handsome and he's figured everything out. He knows how to double dip. So the tour will go up this way and then they'll go around up there and see a bunch of horses. Then they come back down that way. Well, he's on the other side too, so he gets a double dip. So he gets carrots on this side, then he gets carrots on the other side. And one of the really cool things is Gary Drake, like a lot of these owners, comes and visits them him about every six weeks and gives him carrots and hints. And Gary told me that when he went to the races that day, he brought a bunch of his friends and he said, everybody bring a hundred dollars and we'll make a pool and we'll, we'll bet on this horse. And they did. And everyone, every person, I think there were 10 or nine or 10 people that put in a hundred bucks and each one of them walked out with 25,000. They were happy that day. There's a bench up here in the cemetery, right near where Charismatic buried, and it overlooks Sarava's paddock. And the reason it does is because uh, the guy who was the head of the, I think it's the Georgetown Walking, Jogging, Running, Drinking Intellectual Club of Georgetown, I think that's the exact name, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Sakura, he hit the greatest day of his life he said, was when he bet on Sarab. And so when he died, his, his widow and his friends all got together and they bought him a bench with his picture on it and all the all that stuff. And they put the bench so it could overlook Sarab's paddock for the rest of time. Huh. You're not so bad at it. Huh? You're so handsome. You're not really going to fight either. Are you? Not as long as you've got carrots, I'm not gonna bite. Huh. But he is handsome, isn't he? He stood as, at a breeding stand, uh, he stood at a breeding farm down in Florida after he uh, after he retired. But you know, he's bred for distance and not that many distance races. They want speed, 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 he wasn't speed. Huh. Have any of his progeny had success? No. No, there's one still running. There's one still running. I forget what his name is. But I see him popping up every once in a while. Not handsome. Getting a little gray. Getting a little gray. He says, not as gray as you. <laughs> not as gray as you.